Hello again. In this lecture, we will just start work on the PHP script for this change password or update password page. Here we have created the, I mean the HTML form for it. And now after the HTML form, we'll simply do some PHP work. Start a PHP block over here. And first of all, we will just include the database from the includes folder where we have a page db.php that's it and after that we will simply uh, use if statement if is set if is set uh, dollar underscore get sorry dollar underscore post and if this change underscore password pass this one this name or this element is active so after that we can write PHP inside its two curly brackets. First of all, we'll get the old password. We'll create three uh, variables, local variables. One will be current underscore pass, which will be is equal to dollar underscore post, and we'll get that from the current underscore pass field text field we have given above and the next one will be new underscore pass which will be equal to the same dollar underscore post and we'll get that from the mm, new underscore pass field after that new underscore again a new uh, another variable local variable that will be equal to post and we'll say new pass underscore again that's it we have taken all three values from these input types so now we can just uh, check out them whether we have the password or not so first thing is first cl pass we'll create a cl uh, sel underscore pass select pass uh, i mean local variable inside which we will save on sql query we'll say select from customers where uh, customer underscore password is equal to is equal to this password current pass and we have also to address the I mean also to take the IP address no sorry we have to take the create a user variable and we will say uh, the other underscore session and inside session we will take customer underscore email that's it and now we will say end customer underscore email is equal to this email I mean the user which is which which email we have got inside this local user variable using session array now to this uh, we'll simply first of all we can simply add required attribute to all of the input fields so this is basically validation if the user the customer does not enter anything or leave them empty so it cannot be empty now we'll say run underscore pass another variable inside which we will run a query mysql underscore query connection and then this variable is an example uh, reference select pass and we'll say if uh, check underscore pass is equal to mysql i number and rows that one i mean run pass run underscore pass after this we'll say if check pass is equal to zero then We'll simply echo a message 
echo javascript set the javascript starting and ending tag and inside that we will add an alert that we will write uh, your current password is wrong that's it and we'll use another if statement if new uh, password is not equal to is not equal for not equal we add this exclamation sign and after that the equal sign if this is not equal to new again new again if this is not equal to new again then let's say this will copy this whole echo thing and paste it here and we'll say uh, new password do not match and in else condition else statement will finally do something we'll just say update underscore pass which will be equal to we'll write a query update customers set customer underscore pass to this one which is coming I mean new pass okay we can actually add exact command over here and also here exact mean uh, the rest of the code will not be executed otherwise if you did uh, if you do not add this exact then uh, sometimes the rest of the course can also be executed so we don't want that and we have we are now updating update customer set customer uh, underscore pass to this new one which is coming through the input field where customer underscore email is equal to this one I mean user which we have already created this here session and also we need to start session the start of the page the start of the PHP uh, I think session have already been started in this page my account we can check yes session is start there so therefore we don't need it to start again I mean uh, this page is basically included inside this my under account you can see it here we have included this page change underscore pass dot php so that's it we need to now run this query run underscore update is equal to mysqli underscore query and uh, after that uh, connection and update pass is the reference variable that will be executed and we will echo simply we'll echo you can just copy this thing and paste it here we'll say your password was updated successfully that's it and we can also redirect the person to I mean again to another page my account the main page window dot open and we'll write self and my underscore account dot php that's it and all done I can give you an overview that first of all we created a simple HTML form inside we, which we have added some inputs inside the table tick and we have given them name current name current pass new pass new password again so we can get the data from this input takes and we have saved the 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 data inside the local variables and after that we have checked out whether we have the password 
with us or not and also we have double checked the I mean the new password a new password again as well and in last point else condition we have just set update the password the person has everything okay then update the password where user customer email is equal to user because we need to specify we need to define the user the specific user that is uh, you know updating their account that's it control s to save and now come here refresh the page if someone clicks without entering anything it will say please fill out this field because HTML5 validation is there if we say something wrong any wrong password and click this so we can we have to actually uh, fill all the fields now I have wrongly you know added some details because we have a password uh, same here SEM so I have wrongly added some things I click it will say your current password is wrong okay current password <coughs> is right now SEM now new password is basically Wally but in the last one I will just write anything wrong so after that I will click change it says new password do not match so that's mean it's okay now once again same then Wally and then Wally now we are going okay so it should change or update the password I will click change password it is saying your password was updated successfully okay that's fine and we have taken back to the main page my underscore account so we need to check it whether it has updated or not this is the same it should be now Wally we will just refresh it by clicking browse oh you can see that's great Wally because we have updated the password now the last part for this account uh, will be deleting this account and we can also add a logout button over here very simply by going to this my account page and simply we can copy this whole thing and can add uh, another one logout so the customer will have two logout options logout and we will directly say logout.php control s to save we have already this page created logout.php refresh you can see another link here so now the customer can log uh, log out from here as well as from here so that's done now the one thing uh, delete uh, account is remaining this one so we can also work uh, on this in next lecture after that we will straight go uh, to the admin panel for this whole project I mean for the, this whole website uh, actually this link is not uh, working when we click this we need to actually uh, correct it because the links uh, will not now work just we will say double uh, dot and then backslash that means it is outside the I mean outside the this directory this is also outside the di that directory now refresh you click this mm, basically we'll say mm, e-commerce backslash index.php click Uh, oh sorry this is basically the logo I'm changing this home this is here the logo so we just need to enter two dots and a uh, backslash I have control s to save now refresh you click this so it will take us to this home website I mean because that is outside the directory we have put that uh, my underscore account here inside the customer folder and the main uh, index page is inside the main e-commerce directory so that's it now we can uh, go to this account as well so this is the whole website that we have created and we have uh, a cart as well someone can add the product and can go to cart you can see and can remove products from here for example I will add three products and I will go there two products when I click this I can just update and that will go so this is also done now person can log out can log in this is also there the login form the registration form is also there uh, customers can register their account and after they register they can directly go to their account 
I mean someone say something like uh, you know add their address I mean email address and their password so they can directly go to this I mean page which is payment page so they can directly pay via paypal and also they can go to their account after logged in so we have now last thing we will work in next lecture or this delete account function or here we will create an uh, a script for this and after that we will straight go to create the admin panel for this whole website for this whole project so we can uh, directly i mean change the content i mean add the categories add brands add products and uh, you know delete products edit products and things like that so we all that be doing inside the admin panel stay tuned